So today let's talk about layer height. So layer height plays an important role in how your print quality looks. So there's a rule in 3D printing where you should not print a layer height that is greater than 80% of your nozzle size. And I want to show you why that's the case today. So first and foremost, let's look at this Ditto. He is the gold standard. He is printed in 0.1 millimeter layer height. So if you look, it looks absolutely fantastic. Very high resolution. You can't see the layer lines at all. You just can't see the lines. Something similar. See? You can't see the line. Can't see the line, can you, Russ? No. So this is very high resolution, very high quality, and looks absolutely fantastic. So now, let's move to 0.2 millimeter layer height. Similarly, this looks fantastic. You have a high amount of resolution. Unless you get it in the right light and you look really close, you can't see the layer lines. This typically is a default setting in Cura, and it's probably why. It doesn't take as long as 0.1, but you still get wonderful resolution. You can see in his eyes, his mouth. It looks fantastic, and that is what we're most commonly printing in. So now let's move to 0.3. So this definitely still looks pretty good and honestly may be what I start printing the majority of my prints in. You still have a very high degree of resolution. Maybe not, this is the point 0.2 on the left, maybe not quite as high resolution as the point 0.2, but it still looks pretty good. Unless you get in the right light, you can't really see the layer lines, but yet it takes a lot shorter time. I won't say a lot shorter. It definitely takes shorter time than the point two. However, now we start getting into a little sketchy territory with the point four. So point four, you definitely start to see degradation of print quality. It's not too bad here, but you can see the resolution in the face isn't as good. If you get it in the right light, you can start to see a couple artifacts on the surface showing up. And mind you, I am printing with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. So we're really getting to the point where it's going to be make or break for the layer height. Right here, we now have 0.5. So I've exceeded that 80% threshold, and you can tell. There's a loss of resolution. His face certainly doesn't look as good, but more importantly, if you look in the light, you see a loss of quality in the print. You see these little errors there kind of on the stomach. You're just seeing that the quality isn't good. It's not smooth like the others. And this really is the limit of what I would put my 0.6 millimeter nozzle at. But now, just for fun, let's go to 0.75. This, the crap hits the fan. You can actually still see his little face right there. Just kind of cute, but it's sad because you can clearly see that the print quality is borderline non-existent uh, resolution is awful it is kind of good and cool to see and visualize what you are changing with the layer height here it's very obvious to look and see oh that's what i'm changing that is how it's going to affect my print and obviously this is just way too high but for even more fun i printed a one millimeter layer height and this you can't see his face there are major flaws in the print quality. You can clearly see all the lines. It looks very bad. It looks like a bunch of spaghetti, pretty much. But, again, it's kind of cool to conceptualize and tangibly see the effects of layer height. So, now that we've seen visually what these effects look like, let's actually look at the timing and maybe come to a conclusion on which one of these is best for just a standard hobbyist printer. So I wanted to make a quick assessment of the printing time per layer height because that's a feature that is going to make a dis difference on which one you choose. So if we look at the 0.1 millimeter, obviously the highest resolution, it looks the best, but we have a whopping one hour and 49 minute printing time just for this small little figure. If you jump up to 0.2 millimeters, which honestly doesn't look much different at all, you almost eliminate an entire hour. We're sitting at 58 minutes for the 0.2. Now if we go to 0.3, we save an additional 15 minutes. 
And in my opinion, you're really not losing much. It still looks very good. The fidelity is very high. So 0.3 millimeters is at 43 minutes. If you jump to 0.4, you are now at 38 minutes. And I think you start to lose a little resolution there. So I think this is the highest I would go for a figure that is smaller, that you want to look really high quality. And then 0.5 millimeter, you're at 35 minutes. 0.75, you're at 32 minutes. And then one millimeter, you're at 30 minutes. So the larger your layer height, as you get higher into that, your time savings are reduced. And so really the big difference and the big jump in time is from the 0.1 to 0.2 to 0.3. And then the rest of the layer heights, I feel like the time savings is minimal. And of course they don't look very good. So I wouldn't consider one of those. So far we've looked at two slicer settings, print speed and layer height. And what we've concluded so far is that you want a print speed of 50 millimeters per second on the outside of your 3D print because you want a high resolution, that's where you're gonna actually see the print. But you can increase the infill print speed to 100 millimeters per second. That's gonna increase the speed and it's not gonna affect the quality. And then for layer height, you can go up to 0.3 millimeters because you don't lose any resolution or quality from 0.2 or 0.1, yet you are going to significantly reduce the time it takes to print your object.